Samsung surprised the world in 2020 with the Galaxy S20 Fan Edition. The success continued with the Galaxy S21 FE in the following year. However, the absence of the rumored Galaxy S22 FE made us doubt the future of the Fan Edition series. Yet recent leaks indicate that Samsung might revive the Fan Edition line with the anticipated Samsung Galaxy S23 FE in 2023. Has the S23 FE been cancelled? Now that most leakers have accepted that the S22 FE isn't coming, speculation has turned to whether the S23 FE is really on the way or not. While sites including Hankooki have reported that the phone is on the way, not everyone agrees. Previously, Sam Mobile reported based on multiple sources that not only was the S22 FE cancelled, but that it's actually can the FE line entirely. If you want to know my thoughts on this and I'm 100% sure that the S23 Fan Edition is coming soon, let me tell you why I'm sure. Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S23 Fan Edition was popped up in an online benchmark, and the phone's most controversial hardware detail was confirmed, or at least as close as it can be to the confirmed status without Samsung spilling the beans. Namely, the Galaxy S23 FE was powered by an Exynos 2200 chipset. After some days, the US variant of the S23 Fan Edition was benchmarked with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 under the hood, which is the same chip that powered the Galaxy S22 series. Like the Exynos 2200, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is now essentially outdated. It's still a high-end chip, mind you, but by the time the S23 Fan Edition will make it to market, it will be almost two years old, just like the Exynos 2200. Multiple variants of the Galaxy S23 FE was appeared all over the internet. First, the Exynos version of the Galaxy S23 FE was spotted in Geekbench's database. Its Snapdragon version appeared last week, and after some days, the Canadian version of the phone was spotted. The Galaxy S23 FE for the Canadian market, bearing model number SMS711 Dablio, has appeared in Geekbench database. Looking at the details, it appears that this version of the phone uses the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor, codenamed Taro, just like the US version, SMS711U, of the phone. The phone has 8GB RAM and is running Android 13. These things confirms that phone is 100% on the way. In recent days, we also saw the first renders of the Galaxy S23 FE, thanks to the leaker on leaks who shared renders he made with smart pricks. Unsurprisingly, the design language closely matches Samsung's other recent handsets, but the combination of a flat display and rounded edges means it most closely resembles the mid-range Galaxy F54. OnLeaks even reports that the phone will have a 6.4-inch screen, which is an almost exact match of the Galaxy F54. There's a chance Samsung is even reusing the exact same chassis here. When will the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE be released? Predicting the release of the Samsung Galaxy S22 FE was challenging as it never launched, contrary to our expectations for an October 2022 launch, following the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Flip 4 releases. Now, with the Galaxy S23 line already here, it appears unlikely that the S22 FE will ever be released. However, according to Korean publication Hankooki, there might still be an FE phone this year, but it will be branded as the S23 FE and is expected to launch in August or September. Sam Mobile says similar, but thinks the phone will launch initially in Q3 2023, so July, August, or September, in select markets. A wider launch will then follow in Q4 2023 and Q1 2024, which lines up neatly with Galaxy Club's warning that it can't rule out a launch as late as early 2024. Galaxy Club also spotted that Samsung only began testing European firmware for the phone in late May, which the site says is evidence that the phone itself is still months away. The phone has received its battery certification in South Korea at least, so is clearly on the way. That's it for today. Now, what are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.